We got some diversity going on here. Welcome to Attack of the B Team, everybody. My name is Game Raider 901. And as you saw here, we got these two chickens. I threw an egg down, and I thought the Rosester died. But no, it apparently drops red dye in an egg at the same time, which is weird. And I thought it died, and I threw the egg down, and now they're following each other. This is going to be odd. I'm going to make these two mate and see what comes out of it. I really like this. This is like the coolest thing ever. Fucking red chicken. It's like when, uh, there was that diamond chicken in the... What the hell? I can make map. There was that diamond chicken in the April Fools of last year. Which I still have that. If I ever wanted to make a series on that, I can. So as you see here, we have a bunch of, uh... And by the title of the episode, you can see that we're gonna mess around with some dinosaurs today. We got a bunch of dinosaurs here. I'm gonna use a stegosaurus to make a dinopedia. You only need to make one. And, uh, we got these cultivators here. And I don't really know how to power them. I'm hoping when I place this down... Oh, fuck. What do we use to power a cultivator? That's, that's the real question. So let me clear my inventory a bit. Uh, let's get rid of this. I'm just gonna throw stuff in random areas for now. Like usual. Uh, we don't know where... No, we don't need that. Our inventory is just full off of these fucking items. These dinosaur things. Ugh. Excuse me. Uh, so I have these here. These are gems, which are really, really rare when it comes to mining fossils. These things are here. And you can make these really cool tools. And you can also tame the T-Rex, but, uh... I'm just gonna save them for now. I'll see what I'll do with them in the future. But I'm going to bring these with us. And, yeah, we're gonna pretty much just transfer all our dinosaur stuff to our little dinosaur habitat I've got going on. It's really tiny right now. Because I got really lazy. I got so many projects I'm working on at once. But I'm just trying to find something to do for each episode. And we'll do this for this episode. I'll probably finish the habitat after I finish the crack factory. Look at it over there in the distance. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's got the little... The funnels and the, the plumes coming out of it. So, we open up our map here. Our dinosaur place is this direction right here. Dinosaur habitat. Let's teleport a little bit closer. I don't want to teleport all the way to it directly. I also don't want to lag the server out or anything. I really lag this. Oh shit, there's diamonds. Oh, you gotta mine diamonds, man. They're diamonds. Come on now. If you ain't mining diamonds, you're doing something wrong. Look at this. And they're really easy to get to. Holy shit, my inventory's full. Uh, more diamonds down here. Oh, that's, that's quantum. I don't want no quantum. So the server's gone quiet. This usually happens with every series you make. That's server style. Well, I guess. I think I talked about it before, but people... It's the end of the school year for most people. I'm already done. I've been done. I don't know what these noobs are doing here. They still got school going on. Fucking losers. <sighs> Alright, we're entering in to Lay Bamboo Forest. Right here. Oh, dang. There's a swamp. I really like Biomes of Planning. Good mod. Adds in a good amount of everything. It's got mobs. It's got... It's really cool. There's something really cool when you do in the end. But we're coming up on the dinosaur habitat. I cleared a little area because there's all these fucking trees everywhere. And here's my little area right here. Very tiny. Very, very tiny. But we're just gonna place everything down for now. Not really gonna get super technical with stuff. We're also gonna place these. Let's place them inside that. I don't really know if I want to actually. No, I don't. We wanna place them far enough away because these things have a tendency to explode sometimes. But uh, now I wanna get this right here the pterosaur. Because apparently we can fly on a pterosaur. I can fly on my own. Oh shit, I'm worrying myself. I'm not no cannibal. Uh, I can fly on my own, but it's always cool. Uh, it's always cooler to fly on a fucking dinosaur. Like what the heck? Obviously, it's cooler to fly on a do the dinosaur. Should go with that. Uh, so let's try and get this guy, and then what else is really cool? I really like the stegosaur. I don't know what a dilophosaur is. And I'm also scared to try and get a Dilophosaurus sword because these things, like I said, they have a tendency to explode. And I don't really know what happens when they explode. I know you don't. Oh, wait, dude, I think you get the fossil back, maybe. If we get the fossil back, might as well try it. All right, now what do we use to power it? That is what we use. All right. Maybe we shouldn't throw some in. Let's still like, I don't really know. How long does this take? I don't really see this thing moving. Um, oh, there you go. So, very slow. Is there uh, a jungle nearby? 
There's a witch hut we can go check on while we wait for this stuff. Because that might take a little while. Let's go check on this witch hut. It's in an interesting biome. Oh, it's actually in the water too. Look at this. This is just dope. This is not dope. Look at the scene we got going on here. Probably never get a... What the fuck is that? It's a sheep. I'm probably never going to use that as a thumbnail, but it's just always cool. Some of these things... Some of these pictures we can snap here. Some cool little things. Why is there mobs here? I'm pretty sure it's not even close to nighttime. Hey, you chill out, man. Oh, see what you did? You're releasing my explosive powers. Oh, where'd you come from? Rex. And this cow. So, I don't know how that cow got... I don't know what's going on right now. It's some wacky shit. We're playing Attack of the B Team right now. There's always wacky shit going on. But uh, I have an idea for future series. And long, long ago, me, Jirachi, and Ryan, we took on a hardcore adventure, sort of. We played a little mod pack called Hexit, and I didn't record it. I never got around to actually recording episodes because usually in a multiplayer series like Magic, well, Magic World was a lot easier to record. Oh, they got like an embryo on here. I don't remember seeing that. Uh, this one was done. This is almost done. Okay. Usually in series like this, modded series, I always feel overwhelmed to some extent because I'm always doing so many things at once in a mod pack. And, uh, that's sort of the reason why I never recorded Hexit. I think, I don't know, there might have just been very bad cooperation going between all three of us. But in this series, I feel like I'm recording more, probably because I'm by myself 90% of the time. But, not only that, it just feels like the mods are more organized. Say if I were to do a mod pack like Techit or uh, Direwolf20, I wouldn't be able to get through something like that. Maybe on my own time, but I'd still... Like, I have so many projects going on at once, as you saw. Where do I live, anyways? Down here. <coughs> Keep running. So many projects going on at once, and it's very hard to finish those projects, because I usually start a new one. And, uh, yeah, pretty much stuff like that happens. So it's usually the reason why I never record a bunch of multiplayer of a series. But this one, I will try my hardest to record. Well, there's not really a point to try when I'm already doing my best. Am I right? Yes, I am. Well, hold up, let me break this in. Uh, places. Ooh. So, what was I talking about? I don't even remember. Future mod packs, I know a couple of them, and Hexed might be one of them. Make a return to Hexed or something. Let me get some of these bones real fast. Do some cheaty cheat cheat here. Just place these down. Break them. Get some extras back, because who's gonna... I don't got no damn time to go mining for fossils. Fossils are hard to find sometimes. That's why I will stick to this right here, what I'm doing right now. My cheaty cheat cheats. But yeah, if you're trying to get some extra extra stuff here, I don't even think you have to use a sword. I believe you can just slap it with this or something. Yeah, you indeed can. So let's place down all six of these so we get, what, 12? Damn, there's a lot of stegos. A lot of stego sources. So yeah, we're going to see if we can ride this pterosaur, the flying one. But it takes six days in Minecraft. That's how long it takes for it to grow. Six full Minecraft days. And that might be interesting to endure. Endure. I'll probably do that off camera. But how long is six days in Minecraft? That's what? 20 minutes per day? I think. 20 minutes per full day. I'm not actually sure about that. I'm going to look it up on the wiki so you guys don't have to leave a comment. Uh, but if it's 20 minutes, damn, that's like... What? Two hours? 20, 40, yeah. It's like two hours or something. I don't even know. But that's a little while. And I don't even know since fossil archaeology, at least in this version we're in right now, 1.6.4, it's not the most stable mod in this mod package. Very unstable, actually. Very, very unstable. Because some things aren't even in the mod pack yet. Uh, well, not in the mod pack. Some things aren't even fully incorporated from like the old version of fossil archaeology. Probably one of those like unofficial updated versions, I'm guessing. Pretty sure it is. But what I like about Attack of the B Team is the actual the creators obviously, uh what do you call them? Or at least the minds behind the mod pack, generic B and BWL BWL and whoever is in the actual series, like big main server series. Uh how they're giving the modders ideas and what do you call it? The Tropic Craft guys said they wanted to do something. 
since the like the mod packs spark their mod again, pretty much I guess, or spark the developers who make the mod. Give them some like they asked, ask some of the people on the server like, what would you guys like to see in the mod? And boom, that's they're adding new stuff to Tropic Craft probably. And same thing with all the other mods like that happen in Witchery. There's some things in Witchery right now that are uh, suggestions from the people on the server. That's really cool. Oh damn, we got that. Cause there's some. Please don't. Okay, then the flip. There's some mods that I never see get anything new. They just get updated. And thanks to them, there's some mods that will get new things. I want to make sure this is new though. So we're starting in a very small enclosure right now, and I'll expand to it once I clear out this area. Uh, just light up a little bit here. Boom. So we got the pterosaur here, and this is one high, so they can't jump over this. I don't know what the fuck a Dilophosaur is. It looks like it has a big head. So let's just place this down right here. Boom! There it is. Look there, so... Alright, now, I gotta make something called a feeder. Right here. Oh, I can make that. I can make that if I had the resources. Alright, you stay there, Terrasaur. Where? There was a ravine over there. Let's go to this ravine real fast, and let's just see some of snow. So we're just gonna go far enough away. Here's a ravine down here too. And we need iron and we need stone. So it's just like, um, we're flying, this might take a while. Come on! Let's just get some more. Boom. I don't really know what I'm picking up anymore, but I don't really care. Alright. Oh! Oh, I mean water. Ew. So yeah, I'm definitely in the future gonna do hexit. I keep on changing subjects too, I don't really know. Cool that we're getting new things from other mod from mods that usually don't get new things. Blah blah blah. Bing bada boom bang. Pow pow. Alright, so we need to make a feeder here. I don't what do birds eat? Well I feel like birds eat leafy things more than anything else. Uh well the question is, what would a dinosaur eat? A dinosaur bird eat? know what dinosaur birds eat. I don't really see many dinosaur birds nowadays. Uh, what do we need? We need a single piece of glass. That's easy. No problem. Alright. Beep. There you go. That's all? I think that's it. And maybe let's make a bucket too. Maybe we can do that auto craft thing because I think there's some reasons why I can't do this sometimes. Boom. Nope, didn't work. I think there's some items that don't like automatically go into the crafting station, I guess. That's the only reason I can think of. Like, I don't really know. Uh, so, mod packs that I won't ever do, but I'll definitely play if I'm doing multiplayer or someone. Just to give me a reason to play. Where do I put a feeder? I guess I'll put a feeder in there. I wouldn't do, uh, what is that mod pack? It's called Agrari Agarian Skies or something like Agrarian. So, yeah, I think that's what it's called. And I'd play that if it was multiplayer, like Ryan or Jirachi, but it'd only be like fuck around stuff. Because it's a very grind heavy thing. Oh! The dino egg was hatched! <gasps> Terrasaur! Hi! How you doing, Taro? Mr. Terrasaur? Here, I'm gonna place down a feeder for you. Oh shit, what do I put in there? I gotta put in like ferns or something. Apples. Took my apple. I don't have food anymore. God damn it. That was the worst idea ever. Oh, he can fly. That's good I got the safari net. Oh, yeah, we can pick it up. Pick him up easily. How are you doing, little Taro? Where did he go? Did he eat? Yeah, I gotta keep track of this motherfucker. He can. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Yo, bro, chill out. <laughs> Yo, this dude is flying across the world. I don't even know where he went. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so, I put Carpenter's Block on top of him. Open one so I can actually see fairly good inside. And we trapped him in here. So he has to, he has to be like this for, look at that, you can see his little eye right there. <laughs> he has to be trapped in here for six Minecraft days. I might just leave the computer AFK, or not computer AFK, but leave, leave this on while the server is like this. And uh, I'll slowly start fixing up this place, make it more, more make it more look like super foresty dope area. I don't know. I gotta figure out what looks really foresty. That does. 
but we can only get that from Mars. Speaking about that, I'm gonna go to space soon. When I say soon, after I come back from vacation, which is not really soon whatsoever. Reason why I'm recording a bunch of videos, which I've probably said like a million times. Uh, so, what do we have here that we can? Oh, it's a bunch of ferns. Koru, if you want some. Did he escape? You motherfucker, how did you even get out? Stop! He's, he's so fast. Did I get him? No, he's in the water. How did he get out? Did I leave the. Did I leave it open? No, I didn't. What the fuck? This man's like a. What the fuck? Okay, so I have an idea why he keeps on getting out. I'm guessing he teleports to me because I am his owner. But I know a way to keep him in there. You need a skull, which I got here, and then a stick. To make a skull and a stick, which I believe is how you make dinosaurs obey. And I do have arrows. I think arrows also have something to do with the pterosaur. So let's place him down. And if I right click on him, do I? I don't want to hit him with it. What about arrow? Move. Free move. Stay. Follow. Alright. So we'll put him on free move then. Boom. So it isn't the skull stick. But he'll free move, freely move around, but he won't leave this area, I hope. I'm gonna hope. Probably fly away. So let's, let's travel a little bit ways away. But I know he'll follow me, so I didn't have to worry about him running away. Boom! So there you go. Now he has to spend six Minecraft days in here. And do we need a saddle? Can we craft a saddle? Do we need a I think we need a final. But we do have this other dinosaur here. The Dalafosaur. So, we're gonna put him in here. I don't know if this engagement is big enough, though, for this man. I don't know what a Dilophosaur is, like I said, so we're just gonna place him down. And I'm gonna hope to God that this is big enough to support him if he grows bigger. Can I? This is kind of food. I don't think it does. Let's just throw that in here. Too. Boom, so there's a bunch of food in there now. And I'm also gonna really fast go back over here to the swamp where that cow was. I'm gonna murder the cow. There's like zero mobs in this. Bamboo forest is really cool. Really cool. But there's another forest. This forest I was originally gonna make my house in, but I couldn't find it. Mean Jack cannot find it. It's somewhere. I think it is. That forest is a rainforest. It's really cool. So where is Mr. Cow? There he is. Hello, Mr. Cow. Don't mind if I murder you for your meat. Mmm. Show me cow meat. Alright, let's go back. Hopefully he doesn't spawn and teleport to me. I don't know what the fuck a Dilophosaur is. What I'm getting from the picture is it looks like fucking Rampardos from Pokemon. I don't know, that's, that's my idea. That's what I think is gonna look like. Alright, but well we got meat now. So put this in here. Boom, there's food right here. So if you want food, man, you're welcome to get some look. I don't really know how to... Do I have to feed them directly? Maybe I have to feed them directly. But we got our Dinopedia. So if we really click on them. Zero days old. Oh, yeah, he is getting hungry. I am hoping he's a meat eater. Uh, hatching progress 53 out of 100. So yeah, we're gonna have to get food and feed them on our own. So that should be interesting. Uh, so what I'm hoping to do off camera is finish the crack factory and probably finish another project. And then I'm leaving this Tuesday for vacation, so I'll see how much I get done and what I can get uploaded. I know I'm gonna have to make an update video and say that I'm not gonna be uploading much, but I'll try and get at least like two uploads up out a month per month, which is not a lot, but I only have a couple days. Maybe I can upload like four videos and then just tell my mom to turn off my computer when YouTube looks like it's done uploading. I can probably do it. We'll have to see until then, though. We're waiting for Mr. Dilophosaur here. Come on, 86. Oh, man, I'm excited to see a Dilophosaur. Please look like Rampardos. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, shit, shaky. Shaky. 95. 96. 97. 98. 99. What? This egg cannot spawn here. Why? Why not? Okay, hold on a minute. Why not? <laughs> Is there no room? Damn it, I knew there wasn't enough. Okay, well, I just... Wow, the weight. The weight was real. 
Well, not really the weight, but no, oh, fuck, fucking shit. There. All right, now go. Oh my! Now we gotta wait all over again. The fucking what's it called? I don't even know the word, but it's real. The the dramatization. Yeah, so the dying the Dilophosaurus is about to come to life here, but I'm gonna pick up this. I don't really know how to feed a dinosaur. I don't know, I don't own many pet dinosaurs, so. In real life, at least. Oh! What? What the fuck? Holy shit! It's so tiny! Holy fuck, dude! Look at him! He's so tiny! Oh my god, that's amazing! Can you stay? What do I command you with? Hey, get your ass back. What do I command you with? Oh, he's so tiny. I heard a skeleton. You trying to ruin my day, skeleton? Don't kill my little tiny dinosaur. Oh, he's trying to sound mean. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, I guess that'll be it for this episode. Not really much we've got done other than watch the dinosaurs hatch. But, you know. Actually, no. This is probably not gonna be the end. Do you eat leaves or do you eat grass? I don't really know what he eats. No, this is not gonna be the end up, so I'll record once this guy is six days old and once I actually figure out some shit. Dude, he's getting hungry. Uh, so I'm in a panic. Okay, be right back when we actually grow him up and learn how to feed dinosaurs. Is that big? Okay, so the dinosaur is finally fully grown a day later because I got tired of sitting on the server and doing nothing. And I started working on the area, and then apparently at day five he is able to fly. Not day six. Fucking wiki. And I finished the crap factory. Look at this. Crack, you know how hard it was to make an R? Not that hard, but there's so many easier ways to make an R, but it just micro blocks made it complicated, they wouldn't let me place small blocks in the same spot. Same thing with a K, but crack. Crack factory, and then we head on side, you know, we got these things. The little uh, silos or whatever the hell they are. I don't even know what the fuck these are. This one doesn't have any smoke yet. And they're all covered up so you can't get on the inside. But we got the smoke, it's from the nether. Ash clouds. And, uh, do I love this. I'll do more in the de in detailed thing here, because I still gotta get all the workers in. Gotta get some redstone going. A bunch of other stuff like that. Let's take some carrots. Give him some carrots. So, this item right here that I have in my inventory called the whip. Now, there is no recipe for it. I spawned it in. Because apparently, you know, like I said, we have a wonky... The wonky version of fossil archaeology is in this. Not the official updated version, I believe. I'm not sure about that, but... You can't craft this, but it, the recipe on the wiki says it's three sticks, no, two sticks, three strings. Uh, pretty much one stick less than a uh, fishing rod and one stick less, I don't even know. But it's almost, it's close to a fishing rod. So let's go back to the habitat here. Hopefully we don't spawn inside something. Boom. But I fixed up most of the area here, look at this. Yep, there's the dino, you can hear him. I fixed up most of the area and they can't get through this, I hope. I'm pretty sure they can. They might be able to jump a little bit higher. But I cleaned up most of this area, lit it up, and it's looking good. But I still gotta do some things here, fix it up a little bit more. Uh, I got rid of most of those shrubs, I hate those things, I've been cutting those down all day. I don't think I'ma have the whole island, I think I'ma cut it off like right here. Or yeah, like right there. Like with the hedges, cut it off. Well, I don't have any on me. But I brought a saddle just in case we use a saddle to fly him. I'm not actually sure. But, uh... Let's... Oh, I didn't do anything. Let's bust this bitch down. Boom! Damn, why is it so framey? What the heck? I feel like the frame drop when I look at this. It dropped pretty low when I'm staring at this. But look at him! He's grown so much! Alright, now do I put a saddle on you, sir? I'm not exactly sure right now. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally cut down this bamboo tree. I don't really know what the bamboo tree is considered. I guess it's just considered bamboo tree because it doesn't have many. It doesn't have any of the same properties as a regular tree. I accidentally cut down some of these. Well, actually, it depends because I did cut down some bamboo trees and they eventually disintegrated. But they take a while to disintegrate the leaves. Okay. Do I put a saddle on you? Do I right click you? Oh my god. It works. It freaking works. <laughs> this is the best. I didn't think it would work. Oh, but he doesn't actually fly. Oh, wait, do I need to use a whip? So, uh, as you saw there, the game crashed. But we're back here once again. I had to redo a lot of things. But I backed up the world right before we're about to take flight. Now, don't use the whip. 
If you saw that, do not, don't ever, no, don't. I know you were gonna do it, but don't do it. Instead, we're gonna do something else here. We're gonna move this, because this man needs a drop off to do a flight, to take flight here. Might have to break these blocks a little bit. Need to make it look a little steeper for a drop. It says he has to get like a three block drop off or something like that, I don't really know. But I'm just not, I'm not gonna use that fucking whip ever again. I understand why it doesn't have a recipe now. I thought it was just bugged out, you know, because the wiki says something about the whip, but this is the unstable version, like I said. Now, the question is, how do we, how do we, oh, oh, I can't get off. I can't get off. All right, well, where are we right now? Let's just TP myself. This should be fixed, no problem. No. <laughs> All right, this is why you make backups of your saves. Look at this. I'm never good off. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. The server is up. I don't I was just too lazy to go on it. But that will end off for now. Oh yeah. Well the server is up, but of course I'm just gonna crash if I get back on it. That'll end off this episode. Pretty much we can't fly the pterosaurs until there's like an actual stable version of the mod out. Or yeah, of that mod out. A really stable version. So I'm hoping the main server people of Attack the B team will get in contact with them or something like that. I don't have any power to get in contact. If I did have the power, I'd be like, hey, I know you don't got no coders, but one person is enough to fix this fucking pterosaur problem, because all I want to fucking do is ride a damn pterosaur. Can a man ride a pterosaur? This is what I think about your damn pterosaurs. Fuck you.